Thanks, Mary. Well, he's back home in his native Olympic City tonight after a gold medal triumph in Tokyo in the 10 meter air rifle competition. News Channel 13's Jasmine Arenas is live at the Olympic Training Center. Jasmine, we just learned that more than half of all gold medal winners so far have lived or trained here in the Springs, and this young man is no exception. Hey, I don't know what you all were doing at 13, but at that age, Will Shaner had just started as a competitive shooter training here at this facility. Now at 20, well, all that hard work just paid off in gold. So it's 60 times I have to repeat the same thing over and over and make it perfect. It's not easy being an Olympic shooter. I've been doing this a long time and uh, a lot of years of hard work and to see it finally pay, pay off has been really nice. It's a sport where mental strength plays a huge role, so the 20 year old isn't easily distracted. So it's a lot of just trying to stay in, in, in the moment and just working on your mental fortitude or staying focused and it takes a lot, a lot of work. Uh, we spend four to five hours on the range every day. So when he was on the brink of setting an Olympic record and earning the first goal gold medal in the event for the United States. He was locked in. It was a long final. Uh, you know, I got out early, kind of kept, kept the lead a little bit, uh, but uh, it changes fast and the whole time I kind of knew that, like one mistake was going to send me from first to third or possibly. So um, I would just try to stay in the moment, stay focused and just try to try to just finish it first. But after pulling the trigger and realizing he finally did win, it was emotional and it was tough because uh, family and friends couldn't be there. Uh, but to know like you finally won, you've been trying to do your whole life. And then you kind of get to bring that back that mail to the U.S. and uh, to the friends and family to see. It was, it, was, it was really, really great. And now he has his eyes on even more gold, aiming for the 2024 Olympics. Now, when Shaner returns to the University of Kentucky this fall, where he's also part of the rifle team, his coach has already warned him that gold doesn't get him any special treatment. It's back to training for the upcoming season. Reporting live from the Olympic Center here in Colorado Springs, I'm Jasmine Arenas for KRDO News Channel 13. Yeah, keeping the pressure on. Jasmine, thank you.